Hello, my name is Josiah Goudreau. I am a graduate student in USI's Master's of Sport Management program. The topic I am covering for this case study is the impact of socioeconomic status on youth sport participation levels. Past research has shown that children with a higher social e socioeconomic status have higher participation rates. This has led me to investigate this topic in my community. Sport participation has many benefits, so it is important to understand what impact sport participation, such as socioeconomic status, has been found to be an impact. There was one article that really stood out to me that was the most influential, influential in my case studies research. The article by Rich Steiger and colleagues from 2021 was the most influential, influential in my introduction and lit review. Participation in sports and physical activity is a critical resource for children's health and social development. This, this study uh, analyzed how parental socioeconomic status of children and adolescents affects their physical activity in sport clubs or organized sports and outside of sport clubs. The study tested whether the potential impact of parent, parental socioeconomic status is mediated by the opportunity structure of the residential area. This study was used a lot throughout my, my intro and lit review, and it also helped to create my instrument. It also helped to create significance for my study. The purpose of this case study is to measure the impact of socioeconomic status on sport participation levels of children and adolescents. Both of these research questions were influenced by the work done by Ritz Steiger and colleagues research. Research question one states, to what extent does socioeconomic status influence sport, particip sport participation levels in children and adolescents? Research question two states, to what extent does the factor opportunities influence sport participation levels among children and adolescents? Overall, the past findings from the research I did found many similar results. Most of the studies indicated that socioeconomic status does impact sport participation rates among children and youth. One significant finding was found in Ritz Steiger's research. It was found that children and adolescents with a high socioeconomic status spend 56 more minutes per week in organized sports than children with a low social economic status. Another significant finding was found in White and McTeer's research from 2012. As they had hypothesized, the results found that the higher the family income, the higher was the organized sport involvement. This research was echoed in four other studies that I used in my literature review. To collect my data, I utilized an instrument survey. This instrument was influenced by the study done by Ritz Steiger and colleagues, as well as White and McTeer's study. This survey measured socioeconomic status, sport participation levels, and sport opportunities available to participants. The survey also include uh, demographic items to help with my results. The survey was taken by participants in Evansville, Indiana, which is my local community, and it is a city in the Midwestern United States. I distributed my survey via the, the director of a local nonprofit youth sports organization. The survey was taken online by the participants. The participants included parents who had children under uh, 17 years of age. I received 11 total responses. I then analyzed the data for my results. To answer research question one, I had to look at both social economic status and the sport participation levels of the participants. To measure social economic status, the instrument included education attainment of the parents, the working status of the parents over the previous 12 months, family income, and the number of adults or parents per family. To measure sport participation levels, the parents were asked to report their child's participation in organized sport, both inside and outside of school as well as their participation in unorganized sports over the previous 12 months. 
There were no participants who reported being in a low socioeconomic status, which made finding the results a little bit tricky. However, the key results that I found indicated that higher social economic status does correlate with increased sport participation levels. 81.9% of the participants reported that their child participates in organized sports at least a few times a week. This was combined with the fact that all of the participants reported being in middle to, to a, a middle to high social economic status. To answer research question two, I included the, the factor of sport participation opportunities. In the survey instrument, the participants were asked to rate their satisfaction of the sport and physical, acti physical activity opportunities in their community, which is Evansville. The results indicated that opportunities also influence sport participation levels. 72.8% of the participants were satisfied with the accessibility and availability of the sport facilities in their community. 90% of the participants were satisfied with the safety of the leisure time facilities, such as sport facilities. Similarly, 90% of participants were satisfied with the offerings of sport clubs and commercial sport providers in their community. These results indicate that sport opportunities do have an influence on participation levels, as the families and the participants of this study indicated that they were satisfied with their sport opportunities available to them. It correlated with high participation rates of their children. The results in the study provide important implications for not only scholars, but for communities at large. The results provide an important implication that providing access to opportunities will likely increase sport participation rates among children. Strategies should be implemented by the community to help promote and facilitate the sport participation of all children, especially those with a low social economic status. Another important takeaway was that due to the limited scope of this study, which included a sample of only 11 responses, more research should be done to understand the impact of social economic status on youth sport participation in a broader region, such as a larger city or just a community as a whole. My research was very limited, uh, so it's, it's a little bit harder to have a good generalization for the community of, of Evansville as a whole. My results also indicated that higher social economic status does seem to correlate with increased uh, sport participation rates. So it is an important, that's an important thing for communities to understand that there are going to be individuals in a community with lower social economic statuses who may not have the same access or opportunities to participate in sport. So they need to be aware of this and be able to pr provide ways for these children to have the same equitable uh, opportunities to participate in sport, which as past research has shown that participation uh, has many benefits. There are a couple personal takeaways uh, that I can take from completing this project. The first one is that this is, this is an important topic. Many people believe in the positive benefits of sport, but not everyone realizes that not every child has the same access and opportunities per to participate in organized youth sports. Another takeaway is that this topic needs more investigation in the United States. Most of my research uh, came from countries uh, in Europe and one came from China. A broader sample uh, needs to be used, uh, definitely broader than one that I used in my research, to understand the overall impact of socioeconomic status on sport participation. It's important to understand what impacts youth sport participation, such as socioeconomic status does, because many people believe uh, in the positive impact of youth sports and sports as a whole. Another takeaway I have is that a lot of effort is needed to an investigate a social problem such as this one. Research like this and to survey a lot, uh, a lot of individuals 
takes time and takes a lot of effort to complete. So overall, this was a, a really good project to undertake uh, and to investigate uh, a social problem, you know, in, in the world and in my community as well, uh, to influence or to investigate a, a, diver a diversity issue is an important one too. Thank <laughs> you.